and with examples of how to use these hacks so don't skip the video let's get started hack number 1 using acronyms or mnemonics to remember drug names according to science this is the best method to remember hard and tough information like drug names if you use this method very well and practice it you can even store the information into your long term memory so how to use this method So if you're taking a particular class of drug you can list out the number of drugs coming under that class and you can remember either the first letters of each drug to form a word for example here i have taken tb drugs so first line drugs for treating tuberculosis i remember with the acronym rips r stands for rifampicin i stands for isoniazid p stands for piracinamide E stands for ethambutal and S stands for streptomycin. Similarly, second line drugs used for treating TB can be remem remembered by using another mnemonic that is please take carbon copy. I know this is very famous. Please P stands for para amino salicylic acid, T stands for thiazetazone, A stands for amikacin, K stands for canamycin, E stands for ethionamide. then carbon copy ca stands for capromycin then the last c of copy stands for cyclosporine so this is how you use mnemonics or acronyms to remember drug names so you can make your own mnemonics and acronyms to remember drug names hack number 2 learning prefixes or suffixes in case of drug names we have to learn suffixes more so learning suffixes is one of the best method to remember drug names it also helps you to learn these uh, drug classification drug names as well as also their spelling so here i'm giving you some examples like prazole omeprazole pantoprazole as omeprazole tidin ranitidin famotidin then we have ac inhibitors ending with pril uh, enlapril ramipril then we have sartans which are arbs candisartan telmisartan olmisartan then we have mycins which are macrolide antibiotics mycin like clarithromycin astromycin erythromycin please note that all mycins are not macrolides we have vancomycin which is a glycopeptide antibiotic so be careful when you remember when you learn these uh, suffixes and understand them which class it is so this is one hack to learn majority of the drugs hack number 3 using flash cards so game of cards means using flash cards you can make tiny small cards write down the drug names it is also helpful in remembering points uh, related to the drug as well so the concept of flash card is like active recall trying to remember memorize the drug names so this is very useful during examinations for example here i have a small card which i made so similarly you can use small papers you don't need it like a card you just need a just a simple paper you can write the drug name here i have written ranitidin and when i turn the card i have written it's an h2 antagonist it's used for gerd similarly you can write whatever points uh, regarding ranitidin you want to remember you can write about it similarly you can make flash cards for different drugs this way also helps you to remember drug names as well as other things like mechanism of action or some other important points related to that drugs hack number 4 sing it till you learn it so this is one of the most creative method fun way to learn drug names or you can also use this method to remember mnemonics so you can if you're a creative person you can make lyrics uh, you can include or incorporate drug names in it and remember like the names or how it's used or anything related to it so i have found some interesting 
creators who have created some uh, who have composed wonderful uh, drug songs or drug songs with drug names so i have uh, shared the links with you if you're interested to see them you can go and watch them so if you're a creative person you can also learn it in this way finally the last hack is the kindergarten method of writing and learning so uh, frankly speaking some of the drugs which are very difficult we, uh, there is no mnemonics to remember them for such drugs i really use this method of writing and learning so this is a very old method but this is very very useful method if you're using it to remember the classification of drugs the drug names because when you write a drug name your brain reads it practice it repeatedly you will remember eventually you will remember the drug name so these are my five hacks to learn drug names and most importantly i have to say is that if you practice use all a combination of all these to remember drug names and practice these hacks without practicing you're not going to remember any drug names if you're choosing to write and learn you have to write it and learn if you're using flashcard read the flashcard daily so whatever hacks you're using use it daily practice it very well after all no pain no gain i hope this video was informative to everyone and i really hope you use these hacks to learn drug names or pharmacology so thanks for watching guys please like share and subscribe to my channel have a nice day ahead